Welcome back everybody, here we go, part two, read my tag, are you thinking about getting into liquidation? I did at one point, and you know what, if you're thinking about it, just do it. This is my second part of my two palette, I think I should be able to get this all done without making a third part, so without further ado, let's get at her. Start off, we have another pressure cooker, if you watch my last video, I actually had one uh, a little smaller than this, not much. Uh, this is a six quart, the other one was a seven quart, and uh, it was broken inside. So we can always see what kind of condition this one is in. Hopefully, with any luck, it's not broken. Okay, well, at least the bowl doesn't seem to be broken like the other one. Boom. It's all there. Nice. A few marks just from the starter foam. Lid. Seems to be in pretty good shape. Really can't tell if it's uh, been used. I know it's been open because you can tell by the cord and everything. But, you know what? I'll, I'll plug her in. Make sure everything works. And uh, if I have to, I'll sell it as used. It is a bit smaller than the other one. No big deal. Uh, if you watch my other episodes, you know I'm not a fan of used appliances. They're just, you just don't get a lot of value out of them. But, nonetheless, it's better used and working than broken and new. So, start off, we've got a pressure cooker. We have a, another air fryer. Air fryers are a good gig, providing they're brand new. And this one looks to be brand spanking new by the looks of it. Cords out. There's the book. Nicely, nicely sealed. I'm not going to take it out. It's the same as the one I had before. Pretty basic. Again, you know the old drill. I have to, uh, when I have more time, Take it all out, make sure it's in uh, AO1 condition, and see exactly what I have. It's uh, either new or used. Oh, I'm trying to make this a little shorter for everybody. TAC Life. Ta TAC Life Power Tools, mini circular saw with laser. Okay. And if you notice, I actually have, I have two of them, two of the same. So, if it's a good gig, it's good money. So this one has been out. Mm -hmm. Blade is on there. That blade has never been used, which is good. I think you just locked that. Yeah, just locks into place. Yeah, you know what? This is brand. This is brand new. Uh, I guess somebody had it out for some unknown reason or another, or if it is actually uh, could have been a display model. There's the uh, handle that goes on it. All the paperwork is here. I have to put everything back in the bag. Okay, so there's the. To keep it going straight, and we do have a pack of blades. They're right on the box. Six blades come with it. We have two, four, five, one in there, six. So you know what? I'll rebox this nicely, and uh, it is brand new. It has never, it has never been used. Nice. So I have two of these. Uh, I haven't looked at uh, the price yet, but I'm going to have to tell you, give or take, they're, they're going to be roughly estimate. I'm going to say probably in the 115 to about the 145 mark. So that's a, that's a good find all day, every day. <clears throat> These are the kind of items you don't mind if you happen to get a dozen of. So I'll throw that in there. Package you up nice later. Two of those, really good find. Happy with that. See what we can muster out of this box. It looks 
looks like it's been taped a few times. Bag. Okay, I know exactly what this is. I've had I've had quite a few of them now. Um, you won't be able to tell by looking like that. Okay, so here it is right here. Uh, Mount Dog Photography Bob Carrying Case. It's a smaller photography kit. I've had big ones. I've had medium. I've had small. I've had smaller than this. Uh, again, there's your uh, your canvases that go over your lights and then they go on the tripod and it's for anybody that knows uh, photography. That's what it is. A little tiny set. You know, photography, it's funny. I find it goes in spurts. It sells like this, bang, 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 and then all of a sudden I have other stuff where it just sits and sits and sits. It's the time of season, I think, where some sales are better than others. Another Aocock, AI Cock slow juicer. The other one I had was just a regular juicer. This is a slow juicer. I do have a few models like this, different brands. Let's see. Just dusty. All wrapped up. Okay, there is watermarks on it, so it has been used or at least demoed. And it's all over the place. Throw that in there. Good thing is we have all the paperwork. Makes it a lot easier to sell. Yeah, that's one of those uh, slow juicers. You go on there and it grinds in this. The other brand I have, it's, uh, it's a higher end. This is plastic, don't get me wrong. Does the job actually fantastic. The other one I have is all metal, but I mean, you get what you pay for. This one here, so I'm gonna say it's gonna retail probably 150, maybe close to 200. I could be wrong because the other model I have, which is all metal, retails for 450 to $500. I mean, these are not cheap gadgets at all. Now, the demand of them is not high either. So, it's just one of those things that uh, you get, but they're a little harder to sell. So they're worth some money, but you have to be willing to sit on it. See, and this just goes in there. Then you put everything else on, it goes in, and that's why it's called a slow juicer, where it just goes and it's heavy duty stuff. Well, way to go. I like that analogy, don't you? So, stick that back in there. Like I said, you can tell it's been wiped down. Uh, doesn't look like it's been heavily, heavily, heavily used. But again, they are a little bit more difficult to sell. So, put that in there. And what do I do is I always say, repackage everything better later. What do I have? Okay, so I have two of these. These are the same. I have one. It has never been opened. This is factory wrapped. So I'm going to stick that over there. And I have another one, which I think has been opened. Because it looks like it's been taped a few times. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm about to venture into it. And this is by the label, a 3D printer. So I have two, well I like the cardboard crack, 3D printers, the model is the La Beast ET4. I am not familiar with that brand. I've had other brands. Okay. Hmm, looks all good to me, but I mean, you're asking the wrong person what it's supposed to look like. So, everything seems to be all packaged very well. And I'm gonna have to say it was taken out 
And the only the only issue I have with with merchandise like this that has been the original packaging has been has been opened is then I have to ask myself is there an issue with it? Is there a reason why it's brought back? Is because this is this is not like one of those regular items that you know you're you're gonna get if you want to get into this business or just anybody. Um, for instance, the juicer, an air fryer, you can plug them in and see if they work. This here, unless you're experienced with them, and I'm, you know what, I don't want to put it together to start off with. Uh, how do you know if there's an issue with this? You know, I don't. So, that's what makes these a little bit more tough to sell. And the best case scenario is, Either spend the time, put it together, plug it in, and even then, I, I can't tell you if there's anything wrong with it. Or sell it, open box, always it's a good price. Anyhow, what I let stuff like this sell for. And uh, with all my products, it really doesn't matter. If there's an issue with them at a time of sale, I refund 100%, so that's okay. This one here, is factory sealed. Uh, I could always open this one up, take a fast look to see how it's packaged compared to this one, and then, you know, just double check everything. Again, it's, it's hard if you're not if you're not experienced with that kind of merchandise, but nonetheless, these are worth, I'm gonna say they're probably worth in the $2.99 mark, so that's a great find. Two 3D printers, absolutely. Even if, for some unknown reason, there might be an issue with the one. I have the other one, which is good. This is a mess. Holy smokes. Okay, Hypercons, the same as the, the lights I've had in previous videos. We do make lights. So I'm going to have to say this is going to be probably light related. Absolutely. Not the lights I was expecting. But nonetheless, you're gonna take this, holy smokes. This is an outdoor lighting system. I have no clue how long this is. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it, with all the stickers on there, I can somehow figure out the length. There is two of them, so it is a two pack. And beautiful. Here are the bulbs. You have to hope the bulbs are in here. And they are because nice, they're open, but that's okay. So I don't know if somebody used it and they, you know what? You know what people do for these? If they're having a, some kind of a outside occasion, party, event, they buy them, they use them, and then unfortunately they send them back. They should they? No, um, but people do it. That's the way of life. And that's why I get this stuff. All the lights as of that one, they all are in here. I will plug those in. See, now that's something easy enough for me to do. I can plug it in, check out these lights, make sure all the lights work. And you know what? They're all brand new in their own little in their own little case here. That's actually fantastic. These actually are worth a, a, a few bucks. They're it's good money. So I'm happy with that. That's a good find. The box is a is a little beat up, but it was a really good find. Come on. Don't worry about it. Plug that in. After that, what I'll do is I'll have to take my time, put that back so it looks nice and pretty. A little bit better than that one. It looks like they didn't even, um, they didn't even undo this one. That's gonna say, probably say it's factory wound. Easy enough to test, I'm happy with that. You know, I'm gonna say, hypothetically, this brand could demand more money, I'm not sure, but a two pack, all those bulbs, I, it should, it, I mean, Probably about a hundred dollars. I could be shocked and get more 
but you got to watch how much you sell them for because even though you may be getting a good brand, good quality, a lot of people rather spend less money and buy the cheaper stuff sometimes. This here, I am not going to lift up. I don't know if you guys can see that 100%. This is a kitchen range stainless steel. It's a BV. Um, I did a fast search on it the other day, and they retail for around uh, $450 to $550, depending where you go. I will put a screenshot up to show you exactly what it is. It is factually wrapped, uh, taped. I will open it up slightly, take a look at it just to make sure there's nothing funky with it. And again, great find. Good product, expensive product. Stainless steel water distributor purifier, one gallon, four liter, countertop FDA certified premium glass craft. Uh, you know what, guys? I'm not going to take that out. Uh, again, I'll try and do my homework. I'll find a picture of what it looks like. I'll put a screenshot up for you, and uh, we'll see if we have a, a winner, winner chicken dinner or just a big box with a lot of tape. So, another screenshot, Let's see what I have below here, that I can actually bring up. Put that down. A lot of, a lot of big boxes in the second part of this uh, pallet that I had. Let's see, hip, hips wood. Well, I'm not sure, but uh, let's investigate. Keep it all the way. So it has been opened. I like stuff that hasn't been opened. Whew. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Almost looks like another 3D printer. But this one, there's some scratching on there. Let me take a fast look. I'm not exactly 100% sure. So this is another 3D printer. It has been, by the looks of it, used. So does it work? You know what? I don't know. Uh, they just send it back. It is a 3D printer though. There's the base. Awfully small base. I'm going to do some homework on this and I think I might just take this one out because I know for a fact it's visibly used and I might put this together and get myself a bit more knowledgeable on these products and see if this works or not. So if it works, they're always worth money. So, trying to see, uh, Mega APS, it's really not giving me a lot of information. No, so I'll have to do a bit more digging and uh, find out. Throw that over there out of the way. So, again, another 3D printer. If it works, no matter how you slice it and dice it, it's going to be over $100, even used. Okay. Linkable LED shop lights. You know what? I love lights. They don't sell very well for me, and I'm really surprised because, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just like lights. These are nice. Again, so it's a four-pack. They are linkable on each end, so you can put four together or you can stagger them. This is what they look like. You have two bulbs in each one. Easy enough. I don't think these go for a lot. The, this, I mean, they don't go for a lot of money. I'm probably going to think a four pack like that might be, you might be able to pick that up on Amazon or something for around $80. But nonetheless, that is brand new. So again, anybody's gonna start picking that stuff up if you price it, price it accordingly. 
Okay. This one was open. Okay, because there's a box in a box. This is another. This is another air fryer, Gourmet air fryer. Uh, GAF 645. With that being in another box, box in a box, I'm gonna say it's brand new, or I'm hoping it's brand new. But generally, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the lines that it's gonna be in brand new condition. I won't bother taking it out. Again, I'll throw another screenshot up. I've already had a few of these. You've seen them. But again, we'll do that. <sighs> All right, a Juicer Pro. Large capacity. I don't know what's with these juicers. I guess a lot, you know, the fad's over. I think that's what it is. You know, there's nobody doing the juicing. You know, with all the weight people are putting on with COVID, they shouldn't be getting rid of these. They should be buying them. Eat healthy, come on. It's just, like I keep telling you, it's those products. You have to hope they're brand new. If they're not brand new, you don't get much for them. This is actually a, this is a nice juicer though. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. Back in there, good too. But, there's the old dreaded watermarks. So, it is not brand new. I have one of these already. I'm not sure if it's the same model. There you go. It's not quite the same model, but it, it's almost like that. Uh, it's not new. You know what? The other one I have wasn't new either. Uh, it did work. It's in excellent condition. I tried it out. So, that's not the issue. But, again, you're not getting top buck on used products. Everybody on Marketplace and their mother are selling used pressure cookers, used air fryers, used juicers, so it's hard to compete. And if it's a return, and you can tell by these when you clean them up, somebody used it like once and decided, eh, you know what, I don't know if I can justify spending the money on this, and they, they end up sending it back. And you have these products, literally, that have been used once, at the most twice, and uh, you're not getting anything for them. You know, it's sad to say, but that's the reality of it. Air fryer. This is a tiny air fryer. 2.2 quart. Holy smokes. I mean, what do you put in this? One burger patty? Instructions, a recipe book, I should say. It's a little baby little thing. And it's wrapped beautiful. Okay, there's the... There's that book there. Now all the paperwork's there. Beauty. Okay. See, you know what? I could see this being used. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look used, but... Okay, it's used. I mean... Not only is it used, they didn't even clean it. I mean, that's absolutely disgusting. I've said this in plenty of other other stuff, videos that I've done. If you're going to return stuff, if you want to scam the system, because essentially, this is scamming the system, all right? At least have the decency. I mean, you've put everything back, the plastic and everything else. At least clean it. Come on, clean it. Okay, so by the picture, is it on your side yet? This is Realty LD double two double zero two R three D printer. It is used and not cleaned. Um, I do have experience with this not using it, but I know how to hook it all up. See if it works. I will hook this up. See if everything's all good with it. If it is, I'll clean it up. See what I can get for uh, a used uh, 3D printer. Uh, I think this goes for about, I think around the 2.99 mark. So I'll clean it up. 
and if everything's all good, uh, I'll put it on for 150, which is, I mean, if you want to play around with a 3D printer, how, how do you go wrong for $150, right? Okay, getting near the end here. Just a table, folds down like a TV couch table, pretty basic. Wow, look at that mess. Okay, Jose. I don't know. It's crazy. It's a mystery box. It's a big mystery box. I don't, I don't know which way I should be opening it from. It's everything. Okay. Oh, comes off the top. What the, what the hell is it? Huh. You know what? I think it's another, like a smaller, again, it's been used. There's uh, stuff on the plate. This is another 3D printer. Wow. Okay. It must be broken or something. I don't know why everybody's sending, like, why would they send it back like this is, is beyond me. So, I mean, okay. that box, I don't even know, I think they just made that box up. Uh, okay, there it is. Wow, it's, you know what, it's been used quite a bit. Uh, Cool. If anybody has any experience with this stuff, I'd be uh, more than happy if, if you shared it. I mean, you know what? It's easy enough for me to plug in. At least see if it turns on. Uh, I'm not sure what everything is for. Um, well, okay. Yeah, again, that's the only problem. If any of you guys ever decide you want to get into this uh, this kind of business, it's 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 tough when you get the stuff that you don't have any knowledge with. Uh, you you kind of hope that you have friends, family members, or anybody that is knowledgeable and that can help you out because you hate leaving money on the table. You get items like this. Um, not sure of the brand. I'll have to FL. I'm not. You know who knows? Could be some Chinese knockoff or something. Um, I don't know if this is worth $200, $300. It is used. I can clean it up. That's not the issue. But I don't know what all this stuff is for, where it goes, or anything else. I don't have a good box that it came in. So am I leaving $100 on the table? Yeah, you know, that's the difficult part. You hope not because, I'll be honest with you, you can't leave $100 on the table because, I mean, sometimes you're losing hundreds and hundreds of dollars for, for a pallet that you may receive. So when you get stuff like this, you have to be able to get something for it. But again, you know, another 3D printer, holy smokes, that's uh, one, two, four, that's like five 3D printers. Wow, unbelievable, I have never had that many before. Okay, we're almost near the end here anyhow. I do have these, again, nothing exciting. You know, Hypercon again, the lighting company, the one where I just had the outdoor lights. These, by the looks of it, are bulbs, and if they're just bulbs, they're gonna be a they're gonna be a tough sell. Oh man, I think they're they are let me, four feet six thousand K clear single ended T8 tube. Well, let's see. All four, I mean, that's what they are. Holy smokes, there's a lot in here. 12 tubes. You know what? They're all brand new. That's what they are. They're LED tubes, all four feet. 
I, uh, I just find them, I find this kind of lighting, if they're not in a case where you can actually hook up somewhere, it is a little tougher to sell. But again, I do have 12. 12, they are brand new. I will double check. I'll open every box just to make sure all four are in there. Uh, single ended power pack of 12. So it's exactly what it is. And uh, hopefully I can sell the pack. Maybe, maybe having a, a box of 12 is an easier sell. You need somebody that has a garage that is using those bulbs, which you know, again, could be a tough sell. I'll try to, I'm trying to see where I should get all this stuff now. Uh, we have a two light glass bathroom vanity fixture. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so eh, you know what? Nothing, nothing fancy. It is your two light fixture. I don't know if that's supposed to be bent. I don't think it is. I might have to double check that. And if it's bent, either can I bend it back? That could be a reason why I have it. I'm trying to see what kind of... Okay, so this, that's actually pretty cool, you know. So that goes on there. That screws over what you just saw. And I guess you put your light in so they wouldn't be very big lights okay the lights are in here there you go little tubes beautiful and this goes i think over that it does there you go so that goes in there the little lights inside and that's what it looks like centered out so now i just have to see if that other one is bent and that is why it came back and see if I can bend it back gingerly um, because if I break it then it's absolutely worth uh, you know garbage not, not a penny so the lights are there that's there it's actually a good find like I say if I can bend that back there we go coming down to the last couple items trying to make this a little quicker but it's still seeming to go on and you know what I didn't have enough to make three so three shows this is used this is another uh, mount dog lighting kit it's not the same as the other one same concept different model there's the tripod stand that it goes on that goes over the lighting area and here's the light this is what's worth probably the most money. LEDs at the end. LEDs going all the way across. There's the cap for it. That's nice. Usually if it's like that, it should be all good. I'll plug that in, make sure the light's 100%. And away we go. This being here, I'll sell this relatively uh, inexpensive for a student or somebody that uh, is interested in that and doesn't have a lot of money to do it. I'll throw that in. And let's see. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what this is. It's a whole bunch of sheets of felt. I don't know if it's for a purpose. We'll see. Take a look. <clears throat> Sort wise. Okay. I don't know if this has ever been opened. Usually when it's taped too much, yeah, tape over the pack and slip, so it's been opened. Whatever it is, but it, you know what? It looks, oh, it looks fantastic. I don't even want to take that off to see what it is. Huh. Look how nice that is. But we will. Uh, 
we will gingerly take it out so my uh, one of my 8,000 viewers can take it. Look at this. Come on guys, do me a favor. You want to see more of these, you have to hit that subscribe button. I can't do it by myself, I need your help. It's going to be you guys that are going to make this channel run in the long run. I need you guys to hit that subscribe button for me. As much as I like doing these, I need your help. You know, the end goal is all nicely taped. This is factory. I need you guys to hit that button. Uh, so hopefully, the, the, the end goal is to get a thousand subscribers so I can get monetized and start doing other things where I could do foolish, foolish things and buy all the expensive items off a wish or something and do a video for you. But I'm just not there yet. I need your help. And if you want me to do it, you have to help me out and subscribe. Wow. Okay, this is brand new. You can tell how it was packaged, how it was taped. This looks like a jewelry box. Let me put this up. It's heavy too. Look at that. Is that not nice? I mean, nice little jewelry box. Yeah, wow. It's a jewelry box, all right. Does that open up or is that just for looks? No, no, it opens up. Wow. Huh. Okay. That's nice. Hmm. I'm not sure how that goes. Put that down. Hmm. There you go. Oh, mirror. There's the mirror and everything. Wow, that's a that's a nice jewelry box. Shower bench. Not gonna take that out. Pretty self-explanatory. What do we have? Cork board. Self-explanatory again. I'm not going to take that out. Three D wall panels. Uh, I don't think this is very exciting. Three D wall panels. I wonder if it's the white one or the colored one. I think it's the white ones. Okay. So there we go. I've seen these before. The only problem uh, with these, they are nice, I do like them, but you have to have so much to be able to do like one whole wall. So, yeah, these are, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have 12, 12 sheets, uh, probably eight, 18 by 18 give or take. So there you go, 12 sheets. You do a little small little area. If you were doing part of your office or something, they are pretty neat to have. Uh, double check the price. They're actually, uh, they're not that cheap. Especially, uh, especially when you have to start buying five or six boxes. This probably came back, somebody bought a whole bunch did the project that they were doing, had this left over, yeah it goes in the other way, had this left over and that's why something like that would come back because you, you're generally going to need more than one box to, to do what you're going to do on a wall. Uh, pull up bar, again, you know I'm not going to take that out, this goes on your door. Do your exercises. Almost uh, finished here. Whoop. Uh, we have a we have a light of some sort. Uh, there we go. I've had one of these. I've had a few of these just like this, all kind of scattered in a box. I will plug that in, see if it works. Uh, if it works, you don't get a lot for it. Usually I use them around the house. 
And uh, last but not least, bring this up. Body Boss 2.0. There you go. World's first home gym you can take anywhere. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if it's been used or if it's just dirty. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably say, maybe on the used part, somebody bought it, tried to hook it up, didn't like it. Because everything is scattered all over the place here. I have a whole bunch of parts. I'm gonna have to take this out, assemble it. Um, I mean, I think it's just more or less dirty than, who knows. I'll have to take it out and uh, assemble it and see exactly how this sucker works. You know, because something like that, if it's worthwhile, I might keep it. Um, not unless it's worth a lot of money, which I don't know. I don't think it's worth a lot of money. But, you know what? That's it. It's a wrap. This video did go a lot longer than I was expecting. Uh, I just didn't have enough. I don't think if I could have made three, but now I look at it, I probably could have made three. Um, just going through everything. You know what? I don't know what to say. Um, kind of got a, a mixed bag. A lot of new, a lot of, uh, you know, used products, good valued products. But now we just have to see if they're good enough to sell. If you're thinking of getting into this business, like the title, the thumbnail uh, suggests, just do it. You know what? Uh, I was like everybody else. I him and hawed. Hey, you know what? Should I get into something like this? Do I take a chance? What do I do? How do I do it? It's not. Uh, it's not that difficult. You just have to. You have to get out of your comfort zone, and say to yourself, "Here's a few dollars. I'm going to throw it away. If I lose my money, I lose my money." And if I can make some money in return, you make some money. Uh, in between, uh, the only thing I can say is have some money, put it aside, and if you look at it going, if I lose my money, that's what I did when I got into this. I figured, let me get my first pallet. It probably wasn't the, the best decision. I ended up getting a shoe pallet. It was hard. I mean, I was selling a lot of slippers for 5 and $10 to try and get the bulk of my money back. Um, I got, then I ended up saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to take a chance. I bought a sports palette and the sports palette paid off. It was that one there where I tripled my money, which basically got to the point where I am today. So the only thing, if I can give you any kind of advice is get out of your comfort zone, take a chance. It is fun. You know, look at a lot of these shows that you see on YouTube that a lot of people are doing this, they're, they're manifested. They know what they're getting. So they have an MRSP value, they know what they're paying, and they get a piece of paper that tells them all the products that they're going to be getting. They don't know exactly the kind of condition they're going to be in, but they roughly know what they're getting. I buy non-manifested pallets. I don't have a clue what I'm getting. I don't know if I'm going to get... 15 boxes of somebody's used boots that should have been something really good in there uh, or if I'm going to get 3D printers, workout station, uh, you know, deep fryers, air fryers, I have no clue what I'm going to get and that is what intrigues me and that's what keeps me going. But I appreciate you watching, do me a favor, help me out, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on